This is a video made about Graph Club 2.0, which is a program that allows you to create different types of graphs and then tests your knowledge on the graphs that you made. To begin, start by clicking Let's Graph. In the beginning, you have several options, and we'll start by choosing Create Graph. Here is where you can enter data that you may have collected. For example, if you took a classroom poll on what kind of animals each students have as pets, you could enter the data here. For example, if seven students in the classroom had dogs, you would type in seven here. If five students had cats, you would enter five here. If three students had rabbits, you would type in three and say three students had birds, you would type in three there as well. The data is represented in a bar graph on the right. And you can also view the data in different ways by clicking the icons on the bottom, like a picture graph, a bar graph, a line graph, or a circle graph. So that is one way to create your own graph. And then going back to the main menu, if you choose Activities, and then they have several options. They have Math, Social Studies, Science, and Language Arts. Say we chose counting and sorting under math. This activity allows you to create your own graph and then ask a question and have the students answer the question about the graph to make sure that they are comprehending what they're learning. So say that there are 10 people with this hairstyle, 5 people with the next hairstyle, and again, five people with the last hairstyle. The data is again represented on the right. And then at the bottom, they have the question, which hairstyle do half the funny faces have? And by looking at the circle graph, you can tell that red has 10, which is exactly half. So you could have the students answer those questions at the bottom to make sure they are comprehending what they're learning. Going back to the main menu, the last activity is match graphs. Under match graphs, they give you a graph on the left, and then they have the students duplicate the graph on the right by dragging the picture down and putting the right amount of animals in the correct spot to make sure that they are reading and comprehending exactly what the graph is representing. So they click the animal and they drag it down to the right spot. they continue to do this for all their animals. And this is a good way for students to express what they have learned. So under means of expression, this could work out perfectly because it shows that they are learning what the program is about and actually retaining the information that is being taught. This program is also good for younger students especially because graphs can be hard for third graders or around that age group to produce and this program makes it easy for them to make their own graph and not having to hand write it and they can even print it out so they can have that visual representation of the graph that they produced. And finishing up here, having the students drag the last of the animals to match the graph on the left. And when they believe that they are done and have matched the graph, they go over to the top left where it says check my match. They click on that. And 
the icon comes up, great job, you matched it, if they got it all correct. And they have the option to print the certificate or go on to the next match, so whatever they may choose. And also, on the top left, it gives many different options for the graphs. You can graph it horizontally. Under the teacher, you can change the teacher preferences, whatever you choose to do. And going back to the main menu. So clearly, Graph Club 2.0 is a good tool for the classroom. You can use it as a means of presentation by showing students different graphs and then have them express their knowledge by entering data, creating their own graphs, and answering questions about them. This also promotes active engagement by having students do hands-on activities. 